Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. If you're not familiar with who I am, my name is Diani Neves and I'm a Christian blogger, influencer, mentor, and mouthpiece for the Lord, which means that I share the words that God gives me for my brothers and sisters in Christ. I'm actually getting ready to hop on a mentorship call. I have a few scheduled for today. And this is not typically something I do, which is, you know, record content right before mentorship. But I was just on TikTok after I finished up eating breakfast and I came across a video that was basically highlighting the fact that, you know, during Justin Bieber's yummy music video, it seemed bubbly and cute and colorful. And then behind scenes, although there was a deeper meaning behind the scenes, he was he was going through a rough time. And I felt the Holy Spirit impress this on my heart so heavily to pray for him and not just pray for him behind the scenes, but to come on here and encourage the body of Christ to cover Justin Bieber and other celebrities, other non-celebrities who have been victims of the same thing. Maybe not through the same person, but similar situations. God put it on my heart that yes, although there are people praying for him, there are not nearly as many people praying for him and others like him as he would like. This is not a me thing. And I think um I think honestly what it is is a lot of us come across content or news regarding situations like this, right? Abuse from higher ups, pedophilia, the enemy using people to hurt and bring down other people, especially children, those who are helpless, those who are supposed to be being protected and guarded by the adults that just take advantage of them. We hear about stuff like this and we think from a believer's perspective, from a Christian perspective, oh, okay, I'll get around to praying for so-and-so later on tonight or later on this week or whenever it comes to my mind. Or sometimes we think, oh, there are enough people praying for him. I don't really need to add into that. There are enough people praying for them. I don't really need to add into that. And the reality is that there is so much power in prayer. Hallelujah. More people are talking and gossiping and speculating than there are praying and interceding on Justin's behalf and on the behalf of others who we don't even know their names. We might, we might not. While I was preparing to come on here and pray and invite you guys to come into agreement with this prayer, God was putting some scripture on my mind. And I had a feeling that it was going to be in Psalms, and it is. And basically, he was just um, in my spirit, just reverberating the concept of being vindicated from the wicked. All right. And God led me to Psalm 37. I'm going to read it in entirety because I don't know who's going to come across this video. And I feel like God wants them to get what he wants them to get through me. And I want to be obedient. Psalm 37 of David. Do not fret because of those who are evil or be envious of those who do wrong. For like the grass, they will soon wither. Like green plants, they will soon die anyway. Trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and enjoy safe pasture. Take delight in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. Commit your way to the Lord. Trust in him and he will do this. He will make your righteous reward shine like the dawn, your vindication like the noonday sun. Be still before the Lord and wait patiently for him. Do not fret when people succeed in their ways, when they carry out their wicked schemes. Refrain from anger and turn from wrath. Do not fret. It only leads to evil. For those who are evil will be destroyed, but those who hope in the Lord will inherit the land. A little while and the wicked will be no more. Though you look for them, they will not be found, but the meek will inherit the land and enjoy peace and prosperity. The wicked plot against the righteous and gnash their teeth at them. But the Lord laughs at the wicked, for he knows their day is coming. 
The wicked draw the sword and bend the bow to bring down the poor and needy, to slay those whose ways are upright. But their swords will pierce their own hearts, and their bows will be broken. Better the little that the righteous have than the wealth of many wicked. For the power of the wicked will be broken, but the Lord upholds the righteous. The blameless spend their days under the Lord's care, and their inheritance will endure forever. In times of disaster, they will not wither. In days of famine, they will enjoy plenty, but the wicked will perish. Though the Lord's enemies are like the flowers of the field, meaning that there are many, they will be consumed. They will go up in smoke. The wicked borrow and do not repay, but the righteous give generously. Those the Lord blesses will inherit the land, but those he curses will be destroyed. The Lord makes firm the steps of the one who delights in him. Though he may stumble, he will not fall, for the Lord upholds him with his hand. I was young and now I am old, yet I have never seen the righteous forsaken or their children begging bread. They are always generous and lend freely. Their children will be a blessing. Turn from evil and do good, then you will dwell in the land forever." For the Lord loves the just and will not forsake his faithful ones. Wrongdoers will be completely destroyed. The offspring of the wicked will perish. The righteous will inherit the land and dwell in it forever. The mouths of the righteous utter wisdom and their tongues speak what is just. The law of their God is in their hearts. Their feet do not slip. The wicked lie in wait for the righteous intent on putting them to death. But the Lord will not leave them in the power of the wicked or let them be condemned when brought to trial. Hope in the Lord and keep his way. He will exalt you to inherit the land. When the wicked are destroyed, you will see it. I have seen a wicked and ruthless man flourishing like a luxuriant native tree, but he soon passed away and was no more. Though I looked for him, he could not be found. Consider the blameless. Observe the upright. A future awaits those who seek peace, but all sinners will be destroyed. There will be no future for the wicked. The salvation of the righteous comes from the Lord. He is their stronghold in time of trouble. The Lord helps them and delivers them. He delivers them from the wicked and saves them because they take refuge in him. I know that that was a bit lengthy, but I wanted to be obedient in reading the entire scripture for not only Justin Bieber, who this word really is directed towards, but towards anybody else who is waiting on their vindication from God. It is coming. He saw everything. His desire is for you to continue seeking him, continue leaning into and onto him for his strength, continue standing on your values, your morals, your truth, which is him, your relationship with him. Let him fight for you. Do not give in to the tactics and the fear mongering from the enemy. Your fight, hallelujah, your fight right now against your enemies, against the people, the organizations that the enemy has been using to try to back you into a corner, to gaslight you, to manipulate you, to put pressure on you, to get you to to kneel and bow before them. Your fight is no different than David's fight when he was facing his enemies generations ago. If God came through for him, God can and will come through for you. It is only a matter of time. But right now, I'm just going to go into prayer and I ask that you guys would come into agreement with me. And not even during the time that you're watching this video, when you are going about your day, in the secret place, right? When God is prompting for you to pray for someone, even if it is a celebrity and you think there are millions, if not thousands of people already praying for them, never assume. Follow what God is putting on your heart to do because if he's putting something on your heart to do, if he's putting something on your heart to pray, it's for a reason. Dear Heavenly Father, God, I just thank you for Justin. Lord, I thank you for his wife. I thank you for his newborn baby. Lord, I thank you for his family. God, I thank you for his testimony. In the name of Jesus, we as a body just come into full agreement with your plans for his life. And Lord, we ask in the name of Jesus that you would give him supernatural strength and grace by the power of your Holy Spirit 
to continue standing firm on his foundation in and through you. Lord, I thank you for continuing to open his eyes to the people in his environment who you are distancing him from, who you have been showing him even maybe from the jump. God, I thank you for giving him divine insight and divine strategies in the name of Jesus for a way out, for a way further away from these, these places, these people, these, these spaces, God. I thank you, God, for removing in the name of Jesus any spirit of fear, any spirit of anxiety, any spirit of depression, any spirit of, of demonic pressure and obligation in the name of Jesus. We rebuke it and we ask God that you would give him your strength. We ask God that you would give him your boldness, your courage, your confidence by the blood of Jesus Christ. Lord, Justin has a relationship with you. He talks to you regardless of what the media thinks, regardless of what the media portrays, regardless of what other people who are listening to and, and you know gazing at the media believe, Lord, you know the relationship that he has with you. And I thank you, God, for reminding him that your timing is utterly divine and utterly perfect. Now he is a father. And this timing for vindication and judgment in the midst of him becoming a parent himself is strategic. And Lord, I thank you for the fire that you've put inside of him for your glory. God, I thank you for his heart. I thank you for uprooting any demonic lies or seeds planted from the enemy regarding his identity and you, regarding his identity as, as a person in general. Lord, I thank you for removing any darkness that is trying to cling to him mentally, spiritually, emotionally, and physically. And Lord, we thank you in the name of Jesus for shedding your light on him, God. We thank you for vindicating him. The same scripture that I read, Psalm 37, 6 through 8, but this is in the New English Translation. God is putting on my heart to go back and read this specific part as what I read previously was in the NIV. This one is worded a little bit differently, and I believe it provides further context to what God is trying to share right now. Psalm 37, 6 through 8, again, it says, he will vindicate you in broad daylight and publicly defend your just cause. Wait patiently for the Lord. Wait confidently for him. Do not fret over the apparent success of a sinner, a man who carries out wicked schemes. Do not be angry and frustrated. Do not fret as this only leads to trouble. Lord, we thank you that regardless of what is about to take place in this trial, Whatever that looks like, God, we surrender our expectations over to you. We ask that you would give Justin the supernatural grace to surrender his expectations over to you, God. If there is any fear or anxiety regarding this trial, regarding these upcoming trials, regarding the vindication of not only him, but others who have experienced things similar to him. Lord, we thank you in the name of Jesus for just removing this fear, removing this anxiety and replacing it with peace that surpasses all understanding. Lord, we thank you for encouraging him to focus on his family. Hallelujah. To find your joy, to find your peace and focusing on his family continuing to be the light that you have called him to be, continuing to be the salt of the earth that you have said he is as your son. Lord, I thank you for encouraging Justin. They cannot touch you. No matter what they've tried to do, no matter what fear tactics they have tried to use, they cannot touch you. You are mine, says the Lord. So God, we thank you. And we ask that you would just deploy your warring angels on Justin's behalf, on the behalf of those closest to him. In the name of Jesus, God, we thank you for destiny helpers. God, we thank you for destiny connectors that in a, a swarm of people that he cannot trust, in a swarm of people who are backstabbers or are being used by the enemy covertly, God, that you would infiltrate and you would send people anointed by your hand, ordained by you to pour into him, to support him, to encourage and be a blessing to him. Hallelujah. Lord, I thank you for the movement that you are bringing forth through Justin and his testimony, whatever that looks like. 
whatever degree, whatever capacity you want that to, to make waves, to cause ripples. Lord, I thank you that he would partner with you however you are leading him to do so in whichever manner of time you want him to do so, God. We thank you for using him to bring others into the body, God. We thank you for using him to uplift and encourage other children, hallelujah, who are in the industry and outside. God, we thank you for his anointing, that that is not something the enemy can steal. It is not something the enemy can have. It is not something the enemy can tarnish because it is rightfully his. It is a gift to him from you and it cannot be shaken. Greater are you in him than he that is in the world. Lord, we thank you for giving him the peace to understand how you want him to approach things, how you want him and his loved ones to move forward. Lord, we thank you that he would not step into any situation outside of your time and he would not delay at moving forward in any given direction out of fear or anxiety or pressure from the enemy. Lord, we thank you for baby Jack. We thank you for his anointing. We thank you, God, that he is covered by the blood of Jesus and no weapons formed against him shall prosper. God, we thank you for Jack's life. We thank you for his divine arrival on this earth in this divine and perfect time. We thank you for the space that he takes in your heart, as well as the space that he takes in Justin's heart and Haley's heart. And Lord, we thank you for continuing to protect Justin and his loved ones from the crown of their heads to the soles of their feet and their coming and in their going. We give you all the glory, honor, and praise. And we thank you, God, for allowing us to witness your glory in Justin's story. We thank you, God, for the ability to be able to partner with you and intercede on the behalf of a brother in Christ and others who have been through similar things as him. We love you, Lord. We give you all the glory, honor, and praise. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Please, if you feel led, share this video with your friends, with your loved ones, um, because I really do believe that God is getting ready to do something huge. He's already doing it. We're already seeing it unfold in front of us. And we are not called to just be bystanders, especially not as a body, as believers. We are called to watch, to observe, and to pray into God's will. We are called to cover and intercede those who are in the thick of it not just watch them and talk about what may or may not have happened, what may or may not actually be happening, what whoever is thinking or not thinking. We are not called to simply speculate and gossip. There is the power of life and death in the tongue. And if we are not speaking life into a situation, what are we doing? If we are not praying into a situation, if we are not praying on the behalf of another who we can see is going through a difficult time, celebrity or not, then what are we doing? And this is not me being judgmental or condemning anybody because I have been guilty of this myself. I get so caught up in my own life. I get so caught up in my own circumstances. Other people's struggles become entertainment. And God is, he's calling us out on that. And so I repent for ever feeling like that myself. I repent for losing sight of just how important prayer and intercession is, especially in the times that we are in. But I pray this video bless you guys. Remember that I love you and God loves you so much more. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye.